As a wing trimmer, we're in charge of the boat speed and we work very closely with the helmsman to make sure that we're always sailing at our target boat speed and at the optimum angle. So if the boat speed is ever lower than what is our target, then we make a change to the wing setup and make sure the boat is at its optimum at all times. We adjust the twist of the wing quite a lot and, and when we want to sail in a faster mode, we increase the twist, which reduces the camber at the top of the wing, which also reduces drag, which means the boat can go forward and go faster. And when we want to change modes and sail a higher mode and closer to the breeze, we reduce the twist, or if we're in lighter air, we reduce the twist, camber up the top of the wing, and, and sail a higher and slower mode. The different twist profiles that are available, there's an infinite number of setups that the wing can have, whether it's a linear twist or proud leech setup with a twist. And uh, from the design side, what we try to do is analyze those shapes and try to come up with optimums for the best setup and for a given wind conditions. The biggest difference in the way we use the twist in light and heavy winds and up and downwind is based on the apparent wind speed. In a higher apparent wind speed, you're trying to reduce the drag and when we're sailing into the breeze, we have a higher apparent wind speed. So we have more twist and less camber in the wing to reduce the drag. And then downwind, we have a lower apparent wind speed. And so we're increasing the wing and trying to get, generate more power out of the wing and more lift. And it's the same in, in light and heavy air. Then the heavy air, you're trying to reduce the drag. We don't require as much lift and we use more twist. Probably one of the last uh, critical parts of controlling the wing is the amount of energy that goes into, into controlling it, how quickly it's trimmed, how the twist is modified, or how quickly it's done, and the energy it takes to do that is a big part of this cup.